Right, now we're going to learn how to add fractions now that we've learned about um, the other work with fractions, all the basics. We're going to learn how to add fractions. So, how do I add fractions? Well, first of all, we're going to look at the easy examples here where the denominators are the same. And we just write down the denominator and we'll add these two numbers on the top. So, I get 8 thirteenths. This one here, I'll do the same again. So, I get 9 over 9. Remember, that means 9 divided by 9, so I can write that as 1. This one here, I've got the same denominator, so I can just add the numbers on the top, right down the denominator. But now we're going to look at some harder ones. So the general step says we'll find, find LCM of denominators. and write LCD, the lowest common denominator, and then add numerators. So that's step one, step two, and step three. So first of all, find the lowest common multiple of two and three. That's six. Oops, I didn't mean to write the one up here. So I'm going to write them both with the same denominator as 6. And notice how here I've times this by 2. And if you times something by 2, you need to do the same to the top. So I'm going to times this 1 by 2 for this one. And first one I'm going to times by 3, because notice to get the 2 to 6 or times 3. And then I just add the 2 numerators. So I get 5, 6. So, next one here, most common denominator is 10. Then, remember I times this by 2 because that's what I did there. And this one I'll leave it because I've only times by 1 and you know that times and by 1 doesn't change it. So, I've added the 7 and the 4 and the 3 at the top and I get 7. Next one here, I need to find the lowest common denominator of these two. That's going to be 24. Because remember 12, the, that's the lowest common multiple of both these numbers. Because if I, t I times this by 12 by 2 to get 24, sometimes in the top by 2. I've times this by 3 here, yeah, so I'm going to times this 3 by 3, which is 9. Now I'm going to add these two up. I'm going to get 11 24 Next one here, the common denominator will be, tw one, it'll be 24. I'm going to add these up. I'm going to times that by, times that by 4 here. So I'm going to times this by 4 here, so that's 20. So that's 21 over 24, which you know you can simplify by taking out a factor here. So I get 8 sevenths. So I've just divided both by 3 here. Right, and you might want to know about improper fractions and mixed numbers. Well, improper fractions are basically just the same. Exactly the same method. Which is find the highest common denominator. And... What we do is we just times them by the same thing. So I've times that by 3, so I'm going to times this by 3. Now notice these are equal, these two. And I'm going to times this by 2. And I'm going to get 19 sixths. Which you can obviously rewrite as 3 and 1 sixth. think yeah three and a six so now for this one I add the numbers first 
and the functions separately so what I'm gonna get here is I'm gonna get and find the lowest common denominator of both these two which is gonna be 35 so I'm just working with the fractions here so I'm times in this by 7 I get 21 I've times that by 5 so I times this by 5 I get 31, 35 and then I just write it all as the whole thing so I put this whole number in front and then the fraction here behind and just so you know you can add more than two fractions together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the lowest common denominator of all these that's going to be um, let's see I've got a 2 or 3 there. that's going to be 20 sorry I've written the 1 again oh that can just be 10 because I'm times it by 10 now I've times this here by Sorry, that's not right. The highest denominator should be should be thirty. Yeah, all going to thirty. Fine. That's going to be fifteen. That's going to be ten. And this one here is going to be six. And I'm going to add these up. I'm going to get the six and the fifteen. That's twenty-one plus the tens thirty-one over 30 which you can rewrite as you like as 1 and 1 thirtieth and that's going to be your solution so that's how we add fractions we'll just follow these steps here I'll find out say I'm of the denominators and then we'll write that and that's going to be what I'll say D and then we'll add up the numerators okay so that's how we add fractions